Welcome to a new vlog on my channel, which I feel like I haven't filmed a vlog in a little while. Brent actually asked me today, when did you last post a vlog on your channel? Because we've been so consistent with vlogs on the Jason Brain channel, which if you are not subscribed to, I will link it down below. We've been posting on there every single day um, for about a week and a half almost two weeks now i think i'm not 100 percent sure but we are gonna continue with the everyday posting during this whole self-isolation lockdown so from tonight south africa is in a full 21 day lockdown um we haven't been to the shops in like four days we went to the shops on Sunday and we did like a little bit of a restock because we had a feeling that the president was gonna announce a full lockdown and we didn't want to be in the midst of all of that scramble but last night I messaged my dad and I asked him if he was okay with like groceries and stuff and um, he gave me like a small little list so we went to the shops today quickly just to pick up some necessities for him um because essentially like i wouldn't want one of my family members or my dad to be in all of that scramble and let me tell you guys um the vlog that we filmed today just got me so emotional because everyone just felt so scared and you could see on their faces that they were worried and yeah like my thoughts go to each and every one of you um, and I really hope that you stay safe and stay healthy during this time. But I thought I would um, share a little vlog with you. I'm going to arrange all of these beautiful flowers. I got some flowers from the flowers market. Look how stunning. So essentially I got these flowers for a lot cheaper than what they normally go for. I normally shop at the Impala fruits and flowers market i love their flowers they last a pretty good time and they are not as expensive as most places um but they were a little bit cheaper because essentially all of the flower markets are closing down for the lockdown so yeah my heart goes out to them and like just to everyone losing money during this time but i believe it's the best thing to stop the spread of this virus so um, what I'm going to do today in this vlog is just quickly arrange these flowers and then I'm going to go to my bathroom and share my perfume collection with you guys. I've seen a bunch of comments asking for a perfume collection and I think I have quite the collection. Um, I love perfume, I love smelling nice and I love having different kinds of perfumes. So I thought maybe you would find that interesting and then... I'm gonna do my nails I feel like it is so long overdue look at that insane you guys I can't even remember how long these nails have been growing out but I believe it's a little bit over a month if I have to be honest so I'm gonna do my nails with you guys and just have a little bit of a a girly catch-up close your eyes Okay, so my flowers are done and arranged. I'll try and like scatter them all throughout the apartment. But for now, I think they look really beautiful in the corner of this kitchen. Um, but what I need to do now, or what I want to do, is um, put up my photo frames. So we popped into post -Nit. Um, since it was like the day of lockdown, I just felt like I'm not going to stare at these blank photo frames for 21 more days. So uh, we popped into Postnet quickly and just printed some photos. So I'm going to put those up quickly right now. I'm by your side. Lay your head on my chest. Fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go 
are not planning to well, <laughs> um we are not planning to live here for that much longer so i think while we are still here um this is like a good temporary solution there my leafy um, do, do you like it do you think it's pretty he said he likes the Vogue one. Better than the photo frames. Yeah, the empty photo frames. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is what they look like. Um, I have to show you from this angle because otherwise it reflects the window. Um, but yeah, I think it came out really nice. I just have an Eiffel Tower, a little Vogue cover, and then just some, I think it's lotus flowers. I, I guess I think <laughs> um, but if you come up close they look really pixelated but I feel like it's okay for now and then over here I just have a little floating shelf we used to have an intercom but it stopped they stopped working on that process so I just removed it because it really looked ugly but now this hole is looking even more ugly um, but we'll see what we can do in terms of that and then I just have a plant a little empty candle I need to put a new one there and then just a little diffuser and now we are sitting on my bathroom floor this is where I keep all of my perfume I just have all of my um, products in this little temporary shelf that I got from Leroy Merlin I got the baskets from there as well and I keep um, my skincare and like everyday essentials in this basket all of my perfumes in this one yes all of my perfumes are in this one and um then some body care fake tan and some more skincare that i don't reach for every single day um but that i will reach for like maybe twice a week like face masks and things like that but i like to store my perfume in here because i tried so many different ways to store my perfume and to display it and it just gets so annoying with dust and things like that so um i decided to just put them in this basket it's really easy because i essentially like get ready in the bathroom and then before i go out the door i will quickly select my perfume for the day i have quite the collection as i said um i feel like my perfume changes every single day and with the outfit that i'm wearing the way i'm feeling so i literally have a perfume for every occasion every outfit <laughs> and depends on how i'm feeling that's the perfume that i will wear but i'm going to quickly bring you guys inside and show you the overview and then i'm going to share each and every perfume that i own here we go this is what this basket is looking like. I have one or two brand new ones that I will share with you guys as well. But let's go through all of my perfumes together. Okay. Mm, this is so heavy. Oh. oh my goodness. I feel like th this is probably the best way that I can show you guys. Um, so hopefully you enjoy just sitting with me chatting about perfumes let me know what's your favorite perfume in the comments down below and um now i'm gonna share with you the ones that i have i also would like to know the amount of perfume bottles you own whether it's ones you like whether it's ones you dislike um i want to know from each and every one of you how many you have and this is not a video to brag how many perfumes i have i have a big interest in scents i'm a very scent person um i love collecting perfumes it's just like makeup i love collecting it and um i get sent some as gifts and then i also get sent some to try in like pr packages um so it's not like i am a perfume hoarder in the sense that i go out and buy perfumes all the time um but when i see somewhat some that i like i obviously like to treat myself this is the first one that is pretty new actually haven't tried this this is from Hollister it's festival vibes it looks like this how cute is this packaging it has like a silicone feel to it oh it twists like that that's very convenient for traveling mm. It's very fresh, very colourful, um, girly. That's the type of scent that I like. I like a girly scent. This one is also new. It's called Yes I Am. 
and if this is not the prettiest perfume bottle you have ever seen like makeup perfume all in one it's not makeup but it's a lipstick and um it's from i don't know what the brand is i have no idea but it's called yes i am and it looks like a little lipstick Oh my gosh. Mmm. That smells divine. It's like the 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 perfect combination between sweetness, um, a little bit of spiciness, I think. And yeah, I love this bottle. I think I'm definitely going to start using this one as well as the Hollister one. I really like this one as well. And then I have a couple of guest perfumes. Let me grab all of them. So this is Brains One. Looks like this. Um, the type of scent that Brain wears would typically be manly, but still like a little bit soft and sweet. Um, not too too much cologne. -y. So this one essentially is a little bit woodsy and musky, but still sweet and manly as well. And then I have three of these guest ones. Where's the other one? So three of these guest ones over here. This one is 1981. It's really fresh and feminine. I took this on my recent two trips and I literally like used half of the bottle because I don't just go like, tss, tss, I go tss, tss, all over. Um, that one is really nice. And then this one is Indigo. I think this is the female one. And then this is the male version. Um, they both smell very similar. Except this one is a little bit like spicy but fresh. And this one is cologne but fresh. If you know what I mean. Because this is for the guys and this is for girls. And then um, I'm going to show you some of Brain's perfumes. He has... Um, I think this is called seductive or something like that but he has the big bottle and then the smaller bottle it smells really like oh just good i don't know how to explain it but quite manly but sweet i don't know how to explain it but that is brain's favorite perfume is um black excess from paco Rabanne. um so he tends to go for scents like that and i also like scents like that and then i think the last guess one is this seductive i only recently got this one and a little story um when i was a teenager the only there was this one perfume that i really loved that i wanted with all my heart and it was guess seductive but the gold one and um this one is like similar in packaging but it's just black and i feel like this one smells better it smells like oh, so bad at explaining scents, but it's almost like sweet and spicy and feminine, but for nighttime or for winter time. So it's more of a deeper scent, but I mean, how beautiful is this bottle? It's just beyond stunning. I love the little detail. I love the shape. Beautiful. And then I have, let's do these two. We got these um, when we watched the Edgar's Fashion Show. They kind of like um, fit together like a puzzle. And I don't know the brand. Zadig and Voltaire. I have no idea, but you get them from Edgar's. This is the male one and the female one. Um, they both smell very fresh. Like almost like a fresh scent. Ugh. This one is a little bit more like lemony and citrusy, but fresh for like men. And then this one I think is a little bit like spicy almost for women. And then this is my whoop, nearly broken. This is my engagement perfume. So I took this perfume, it was brand new. I took it to Thailand with us and then we obviously got engaged. So every single time I smell this 
or like put it on I think of Thailand and when we got engaged so this is the Bulgari Rose Goldia it's the Blossom Delight one and I'm going to show you a little close-up of what this looks like it's just so stunning I love this detailing oh you guys it literally smells like roses and blossom like literally roses on steroids but a little bit sweet this is like one of my favorite scents if i have to be honest and then i think i'm going to show you these three from elizabeth arden these are the um white tea scents oh my back is killing me from sitting like this um let me just scoot up a little bit so um white tea comes in the original and then they come in wild rose and vanilla orchid as well so the original white tea smells um very like linen-y fresh and like jasmine and just so clean and then they came out with two um different ones the rose one and vanilla orchid so the rose one has a similar scent but has rose in it and it's literally like roses on crack it's like <gasps> i will literally put this in a bathtub and bathe in it that's how good it is and then this one is vanilla orchid it's not too vanilla-y and also not too florally so it's like the perfect combination but i mean who doesn't love vanilla vanilla was one of my mom's favorite scents so it always reminds me of her and then i love this this is my bedroom scent <laughs> that's so funny i have a perfume for my bedroom so i have the smaller one in um the bedroom in my bedside table and this is elizabeth arden sunflowers it's supposed to be like a body spray and this one is the sunflowers sunlit so it's a little bit fresher than the original sunflowers but if you guys are wondering what my bedroom smells like this is it elizabeth arden sunflowers it's a very fresh it smells like sunflowers it's just so joyful and um clean and fresh and just i love it so so much and then i also love the elizabeth arden green tea and pomegranate really really good scent um it's essentially like a like a body scent but it has all of the beautiful like fruity flavors with a little bit of spice from the pomegranate i think um so it's quite pungent but it's really um i don't know how many times i'm gonna say fresh in this video or smells really nice or really good but just excuse me please um and then we have dkny stories which is a really really nice scent i actually haven't worn this in a very long time it's very sweet like it's it's <sighs> i think this will be sweet for too sweet for some people but it's just like the perfect girly scent and i really really like the bottle and then i have this one which reminds me of when we went to dubai this is the ted baker body spray i think you get this in the like blue green one and then you get the pink one i don't know how to explain it it's again a little bit sweet a little bit spicy but it just reminds me of dubai and i'm just so scared to like use it up because i don't want to use up a scent that i have a memory of or like a memory connotation with and then um, I have a couple of Avon ones which I did a campaign with Avon on these scents where is the other one okay so we have the faraway gold and then we have the faraway classic and then the faraway infinity brain really likes the infinity um it smells a little bit exotic almost so it has a little bit of coconutty a little bit of fruity and fresh and then this gold one is a little bit more a lot more deeper and like i explained with um this one it is a little bit more like for evening time or maybe winter time i think that's a perfect thing for that time of the year and then this is 
I essentially like to spray this in my beauty room. This is a little bit more spicy, so it has more of an oriental feel to it. I'm going to sneeze. Oh my goodness. Um, and then I had this Jimmy Choo one, which I absolutely love the bottle. All of the perfumes that I have are essentially like a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy sometimes, and just like fresh and feminine. That's the type of scents that I love. I got this also when we went to Dubai. This is the Marc Jacobs Daisy. I haven't used this in like the longest time, but it's a very iconic scent. I don't know how to explain it, but it smells like daisies and flowers and very fresh. And then I have the Marc Jacobs Wonderlust, which I got as a gift from Marc Jacobs. <laughs> Michael Kors. <laughs> Sorry. Wonderlust. I haven't used it. Um, I don't know why. I used it a little bit in the beginning when I got it, but it's really hard to use all of these scents, especially if you stay home all the time. You don't get to put perfume on like every single day. And even though I try to, I kind of just reach for the ones that I remember, but I should just like remind myself to switch it up a little bit more. Um, this is the Azaro um, Wanted Azaro. Brain absolutely loved this bottle. It is shaped like a grenade and I just think it's so fun but it's essentially like also a very very sweet scent like these two scents are like extremely sweet so you just need like the tiniest bit to like have that smell on you oh my back is killing me and then I have 24 7 man for brain um it's from Revlon mm smells so good this is the scent that i fell in love with when i met brent because this is what he essentially wore when we started dating um and then i just have a first day in spring from essence which is again like very florally smells really nice i used to keep this in the bathroom um and then i have nukes which is literally like one of my favorites i love the original and then i love the um floral one which they came out with also did a, ca a campaign with them so this is essentially like a perfume but it's like an oil so it stays on so much longer on your skin and then it just gives you that beautiful collection. whoops essentially this one as well this is the giorgio armani c i literally love 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 this perfume but i tend to wear it a little bit more like in the colder months because it's a little bit more deeper but it's like oh, it smells so good it's sweet but it's not too sweet and it just lasts so much longer because it's an oil essentially and then oh my goodness i can't even see anymore this i got from um glamour magazine when i was announced as one of the top 10 most glamorous um women of 2019 so this is the gucci guilty and i must say i'm a little bit disappointed in this because although the packaging is absolutely stunning i feel like it's a little bit um mature for me i don't know it's just a little bit too spicy and a little bit too mature to my liking um but i absolutely love the packaging and then these two are from versace i have versace bright crystal and versace crystal noir um my favorite one is definitely this one and i love the gold one as well but i don't have that one i've tried it in store oh it's just so fresh and so feminine it's like the absolute perfect girly scent this one is a little bit deeper almost for like nighttime um it has a little bit more of a sophisticated feel to it and then i have two joe malone perfumes which like i am nearly out my heart is aching because these are so expensive um i've got the english pear and freesia and then the peony and blush suede you can go and smell these in store they literally smell these are two of the nicest smelling um perfumes from jo malone the peony and blush suede is 
like a florally scent but sweet and then English pear and freesia is essentially like very fresh but not a nauseating sweetness um, can be used Jo Malone can be used on yourself or like as a home fragrance and then these are just like little fragrances that I created myself um, with forever new they smell like shit I'm not even gonna <laughs> I'm not even going to share them with you. And then I have Elizabeth Arden Sensuous. Um, this is a very old fragrance. This is like one of my first fragrances that started my collection. Oh, I literally sprayed that in my face. Um, It's mature, but not too mature. It's still fresh, still girly and florally, but it's more like sophisticated, I guess. And then I have a couple of um, EP fragrances these ones i haven't really used because to be honest oh i have so many cubanites smells like literally divine you guys and if i can explain it it's very spicy but it's it still smells really really good and then the seduction one used to be the um perfume for the toilet it's very like, I don't like the scent. I don't really like the scent and that's why I used it for the toilet. Um, let's just be honest, it's a little bit grandma-y. Um, and then I have a couple of these ones, which I probably, I don't think I'm gonna go through these ones because I don't really use them, but I have a couple of like samples. And also have Electra, which I don't think I like this one. No, I like this one. It's hmm, it smells like sweets, actually. I think I should use that one next time. And then this is one of my favorites. It's from DKNY. Apple, so fresh. I tend to use this or apply it when I am wearing like athleisure or going to the gym or something like that. Just freshens me up. Even if I'm just staying home, I like to spray this on. And then the very last one is the bordeaux i used quite a bit of this actually um in the short time that i've had it this is the somei yoshino i also worked with them and i got to choose like the type of scents that i love and i really like cherry blossom it's like one of my favorite scents i really like fruity and florally and this is like oh smells amazing i don't even know if i'm thinking straight because i have all of these different scents on me but i'm gonna pack this back <laughs> and then um hopefully we can start with my nails <laughs> the world could fall down it's gonna be okay the sun could go out we're gonna be It is the next day after I left you guys yesterday with the whole perfume thing. I just had to like take a moment and take a bath. I suffer from like hay fever and I get headaches and I sneeze all the time from like dust and stuff. Especially with inhaling all of the perfume and like smelling them for you guys. I got a very bad headache and I just had to take a shower and just like chill out for a second um but i think it's that and a little bit to do with being overwhelmed and a little bit stressed during this time um so i think it's important to just like take a breather and take a step back when you feel a little bit overwhelmed um but one thing that really helps me calm down is my nails i did it on the couch last night whilst watching a movie and how i remove my nails is i just take little foil squares and then i take cotton rounds and artificial nail remover or acetone and then i just wrap each nail before i do that i just file a little bit of the like shininess off my nail and then I wrap each nail let it sit for a little bit and then I'll file it off and 
the only thing I did was just add a layer of shellac. I have dedicated nail videos on my channel, which I will link down below. I just used shellac, which is just like a, a clear gel, but it's a lot stronger. Um, I will also link the exact location of the store I got this from. I also used one little coat of this. This is like my favorite nail polish. It's like a fringe pink. It's not nail polish, it's gel. And it's in the shade 272, and it's this like absolute perfect most beautiful French natural pink color um, so I just did like one coat of that and this is basically what it looks like and then I use this little UV light that I got from the exact same place so yeah I'm gonna keep them natural like this for a couple of days I really like the natural nail look and I wanted to apologize that I didn't show you guys exactly how I did them I have a couple of videos on nails that I will link down below for you guys um, I just feel like it's important to just take a step back if you are feeling a little bit overwhelmed I think we can all get a little bit stressed during the times to follow and I want everyone just to um, stay healthy and stay sane and just do things that will make you de-stress. I personally love doing my nails. I feel like it's a big de-stressor for me. Um, but sometimes like filming it puts me under stress. So um, I try to get some clips for you guys on how I remove it because I don't think I've showed that before but I have shown um, like how I do these type of nails. So if you want to go check that video out I think I use artificial nails in that video where this is just my own nails and I think like the whole application of like the gel and stuff and then baking it is pretty self-explanatory um, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I haven't done a vlog in a little while on my channel we've been focusing on doing vlogs on um, the vlog channel which if you haven't subscribed please do we are gonna post every single day during this lockdown and maybe after that as well um, I'm also gonna try and create more content for my channel so please keep an eye out for that leave me a comment down below say hi and I'll reply to you guys and then hopefully I'll see you in my next video Mwah. stay safe and stay healthy love you guys Bye.